Hi, welcome to John King's, Kaz Nicholson, and Shannon Brewer's presentation over phylum porphyra. Introduction. Porphyra are sponges. They have been around since pre-Cambrian period. They are multicellular and have no shape. Their bodies are full of pores and channels that allow water to circulate through them. By maintaining this flow of water, they can survive. Periphera even means pore bearer. Sponges in the periphera phylum make up some of the oldest animal fossils found on Earth. There are over 5,000 species classified into this phylum. They are classified into three groups based on the strength of their skeleton. Hexacanthalida, Demospongia, and Calcara. Sponges are sessile organisms, meaning they are unable to move by themselves and remain attached to some solid form. Periphera have sponge-like bodies. They come in all shapes and sizes and colors. They do not have a digestive, nervous, or circulatory system. They rely on the constant flow of water through their bodies. They adapt to the water flow for maximum efficiency. This gives them all the nutrients they need. As stated earlier, periphera rely on water flow to bring them food. They eat bacteria and other drifting particles found in the water. But some sponges are actually carnivorous. They feed on small crustaceans for the most part. They capture and digest their prey whole. They use spicules to grab the prey. Next, their cells migrate around the prey, swallowing it whole. Just as it takes in food, it excretes it the same way. Water flows through the sponge, filtering out the waste, exiting through the pores. During this phase, carbon dioxide is excreted out of the sponge also. These sponges can be found all across the world's ocean, in the tropics as well as the polar regions. A majority live in quiet, clear water. This is where food is most abundant. They can be found on rocks and some root themselves to the ground. Sponges exchange gas through diffusion. In the exterior of the sponge, cells collect oxygen molecules and release CO2. In the following diagram, you can see how the functions of the periphera or sponge work. Sponges reproduce sexually and asexually. Male sponges shoot sperm into the water to be caught by female sponges. When this happens, it looks like the sponge is smoking. Once the sperm comes into contact with the female egg, the female sponge drops her larvae off. The larvae remains there for some time before it starts to grow into a sponge. Sponges that reproduce asexually break apart from each other. Before this can happen, sponges produce buds or gimules. Cells are deposited into a protective casing inside the packets that later break off and grow into new sponges. Calcareous sponges are sponges that belong to the class calcara. Their spicules are made out of calcium carbonate. They take many forms and reproduce both sexually and asexually. The glass sponge is found in oceans all over the world. Their class is Hexactinthalida. It's a deep sea sponge. They are pale compared to others. Their skeletons are composed of silica. Thank you for watching. This has been a presentation by Casimir Nicholson, Shannon Brewer, and John King.